Our next speaker is a stranger to her. <laughs> I was going to say somebody I've known all her life. <laughs> yep. This is my daughter Julia, and she, <laughs> Thank you. she runs Ozark Mountain Publishing. She's the backbone of the whole thing. And she has a, a lot of work on her doing all of this. <laughs> okay. And she travels with me too, so she, we can see a lot of each other. She said sometimes too much. <laughs> but uh, when we're having the classes and the lectures, we found that sometimes I'd call her up and she would add to what I was saying, especially at the class. You began having something that was very important to add. And so we got to thinking, why don't you put it together and tell it at the lecture on her own? Because it's a lot of valuable information that's been helping people. And so this would be her first time to do it without me, but I'm here. If you <laughs> Because usually I'm doing it, and I call her up to put in her part, and she takes over them. Okay. Yep. okay. Oh, you want to go by Julia Cannon, Julia Diggin, anyway. Just call me Julia. Julia, <laughs> okay. All right, so part of this is what she does at the class, because it helps to explain some of the things I'm teaching, but it's good for anybody. Okay. It's, I no, take it's it all off. Yours. It's all mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I was saying these parts, I've been doing these in pieces and parts at these classes and these talks, and it's like, okay, put it all together, figure out how to make it work together. But um, they assure me they're with me, and I've been assured by many other people that they're with me, <laughs> and so I've gotten a lot of confirmation today. Um, the hardest part of this is to say something about myself. What do I, you know, that's, that's why if you look in the program, there's nothing about me. It's because I couldn't think of anything to write. So um, <laughs> that I had to come up with that and it didn't happen. So, um, um, but I am the second child of Johnny and Dolores Cannon. And if it's okay, because I will be referring to her a lot, you know, we, ha we do work a lot, I will be referring to her as mom. So if that's okay with you, <laughs> it's hard for me to call her Dolores sometimes. So I may do that interchangeably, but that's, anyway, we, and we have a thing that we do, and I don't think it'll happen here, but when we do the classes, we have a banter that we do. And if anybody's listened to the radio shows, we have a banter that we do, and so, um, uh, that's just us, okay? That's mother and daughter. Those of you that have that kind of relationship, you understand me. <laughs> so we spend that much time together. Um, but I am the second child, and um, my biggest thing is I was a registered nurse for 20 some odd years, and then the universe said, you need to do something else. You need to have, actually it kept saying, you need to have a healing center, and I'm going, Okay, that's fine. And I was trying to do that. I was living in Missouri at the time, and nothing would happen. It just wouldn't happen. And then they kept saying, you, you've got to quit where you are. You've got to stop doing what you're doing. It was in nursing. And uh, you've got to stop that, and you need to go to Arkansas and do a healing center. I go saying, why would I do that? Why would I do that? And I would kind of make some moves, and then it would just stop. I, would, I was really comfortable in my nursing salary that I had going and stuff. And it was like, you know. Anyway, so, and I back off and stuff, and I did about four times. This is a lesson here to everybody, is when the universe talks to you, listen, okay? <laughs> the fourth time, they said, you need to go to Arkansas and do a healing center. And I said, now how on earth am I going to do a healing center in Arkansas? That was the time I said that word, how. And they said, we'll show you how. <laughs> Bam. They cut everything off. They completely, I was hit by the two by four. You hear about the etheric two by four, I was majorly hit. Everything was stopped. They said, we will show you how. I was plucked out of there and dropped in Arkansas. <laughs> and it was like, okay, that's how I am here now. <laughs> and so, and it was a huge adjustment. Um, you know, if, if, and this is one of the things that happens especially in these changing times and this shifting energy. People are getting shifted and put to where they're needed. And if you do not listen, 
you will be, it will be done to you. But trust me, it's not anything that you're a victim of. It's just you're not listening. This is something you designed and you set it up. So it's not anything, you know, woo-woo scary, oh my God, they're taking over me, things like that. So trust it. And that's what I'll be going into is what this is that, that is happening, okay? Now, in Dolores' classes, she, and in her work, you know, she keeps talking about they, okay? Um, and the subconscious and things like that. Well, in the classes, they're learning how to work with that part. And so it gets confused and they're like, well, what is this? What is this we're dealing with? Because it's so powerful. It's huge. And like, we don't understand this. You know, it's huge and powerful, but intimate and loving. Okay, I don't get it. And so they, and they'll be a part in the class where they're like, what is this exactly that we're talking to? And one time, this was about two and a half years ago, we were in Sydney, Australia, doing the class. And I'm in the back of the room, I'm always assisting, and I'm in the back of the room working, okay? And they're having this discussion of what it is. And all of a sudden, I got this visual. Now, this is one of the things, as I'm developing, you know, these have been happening gradually. I get visuals, I hear things, um, you know, it's, we'll go into that in a minute here as to how that happens and what's, you're probably doing it too. <laughs> and, um, but I got this visual and I was like, oh wow, that's cool, that makes sense. And like, okay, draw it. And I'm like, no, I got it, and then draw it. I'm like, whoa, oh, okay, they, they've never yelled at me before. You know, I was like, okay. So this is what I got and I started Right after the break, I drew, it, I drew it at that point, and it was good in the drawing, I found some errors in my thinking process. So the drawing helped refine it. And you'll, you'll understand here in a minute, it was like a very fine thing, but it's a very important thing. And then when I was showing it to someone else at the break, someone clear across the room came running over and they said, what was that one thing you said? That's what I've been trying to figure out and trying to understand. So that was already starting the process of, of understanding this. So now this is an ever-evolving drawing and it's a matter of asking questions. This is very, very important. In your development, ask questions. You think they're just going to download you and they're just going to boom all this information. Your questions determine the level that you are at and so that determines the level of information that you get. So you keep asking questions. And again, that will make more sense here in a minute. But in the process of I was drawing this for the class, someone was asking questions. And the information, I mean, it just comes right then. The answer comes, oh, it's right here. Well, I never thought to ask that question. So I wouldn't have ever known this piece of information if this other person hadn't asked. So that's what I'm saying. Questions are very important. You ask, you will receive an answer. OK? So. We're going to see how this works. This is a new thing for me. Um, right, I usually do it on a big marker board or a chalkboard. Okay, now do we have... What I'm going to do... Um, now for the sake so you can see this, I'm going to draw this larger than it really is. Okay, now... Can you see that? That's you. Okay, that's your, and I'm drawing it larger than it really is, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is your consciousness that's sitting here in this chair, in this body right here, okay? This is the part that you think is you, all right? Now I'm going to draw it just a little bit bigger just so we can have some reference here. Okay, now this, that's the real you, okay? So I call it big me and little me, all right? This is who you really are. You're huge, all right? We call it the higher self. It's huge, all right? Got that so far? All right, okay. There's the person sitting next to you, okay? And there's their big me. Here's the next person sitting next to you. Okay? And the next person. What are you starting to see? Right. 
We're all connected. Yes, if you notice, and that was the very important part. When I originally wanted to draw this drawing, I wanted to make it more like this, and they're like, no, that denotes separation. We're all connected. All right? So this is why when Dolores does a session or you use her method and you go to this part, that's the part you're going to when you do her method, okay? You're going here and you're talking to this part of the person. Well, when you're going there, that's why they know everything about everything because it, it's all connected, all right? And we'll give some more details in a minute, but first, that. Be somebody on the other side of the world. Somebody on another planet. Somebody in another universe. Getting the picture? Cool, isn't it? Okay, now, so this is all connected. Now, what keeps happening is this picture, like I said, it keeps evolving. Let me do one thing before I go into that part. Is the question that was asked was, see this part where this it's, it's like wings, and it's not really at the top of your head. It's really, if you saw Dee last night, she was kind of indicating it's like the point outside of this. You know, it's like the point of outside of your consciousness. So it's almost like as soon as you leave here, it's, it, it starts, and it's around you. It's not really just above you. It's completely around you. That's your bigger you. Okay. The point where that separates or where that comes in, that's the veil. That's where the veil is, okay? And then someone asked, where are the guides and guardian angels? And they told me they're in the veil, okay? That's why you get this other information when you go here. You're not asking for guides and guardian angels. I mean, they're right there. That's why they know you so intimately because they're right there in your veil, okay? They know you um, and they're guiding you. Now, up here, you're into this vaster area. What started happening was, what it's showing me is, up here is God, okay? I mean, it's actually way, way up here, but, and then the, as it's evolving, this is starting to breathe. It's really cool how this picture keeps going, but now it's kind of doing something like that, and it's, and it's, a, it's a breathing thing, but it's up here, and what happens is, is this whole area it's starting to show me layers and levels. And I didn't really understand that. It's almost like it goes from, into, you know, kind of more individuation and it keeps going up and becomes in, becoming larger and bigger as it goes and melds with God. So if this is little me, this is big me, this is God, and we've melded up here, what is that saying? How many were at the D's talk last night? Right. How many were at Grant Peeler's talk yesterday? How many times are you going to hear we're little gods, okay? What does that make? We're, it's, we're God. This is how we're God. See, we're directly connected. There's no separation. We're directly connected because it melds right into it. So we are God energy. We just don't remember because of that veil sitting there. All right, um, and because of that veil, and if you notice, the veil is thinning. How many are noticing abilities? Abilities coming in. Raise your hand, claim it. Claim it, yeah, raise both hands, yeah. <laughs> this is this time. It's wonderful, These, the veil is thinning. We're remembering, we're starting to remember who we really are. That's what this is about. We're starting to see that. We are great and powerful beings. Look at our, I mean, we're God. We're God. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. But this is showing you just exactly how we are. And it was really cool, because um, like I said, I was starting to see that it was layers. It was like um, starting out, we have more kind of, and it starts gradually going up to where it melds and it becomes larger and things. And I didn't fully understand that. I still don't. It's still happening. This keeps like I said, it's taking on new dimensions. And I didn't quite understand it. And then I was thinking about Guy Needler's book, and he'll be talking tomorrow. And he talks about all these levels that he went through to get to the source entity, to get to God. And it was like, oh my God, that's what I'm seeing, our levels. So that explains it. And it's like, because at first I didn't understand his levels, and now I'm seeing it. I'm seeing this other side. And so it's pulling it together. 
Um, okay, so that's who we are. Now, if you have read or heard Dolores' lectures or read her books, she talks about how this planet is over here and confined for a reason and things like that. Um, if anybody heard Julia Hansen speak a couple years ago, um, and in her book, Awakening to Your Creation, you remember she talked about um, how we are great and powerful beings, and we, um, this is her talk, and I, I just expand on it, okay? Um, let's start with, this is the most challenging universe of all the universes, okay? And then this is the most challenging planet in this universe. So already you know there's a special thing happening here. There's something, a special um, situation, okay? And it's by design that it's been created this way. Any, um, in order to come here, because this is such a challenging planet, I mean, this is really, I mean, it's like, I'm not going to say lowest of the low, it's just the most challenging because it's so dense. And it's the energies here are hard. They're, they're just really hard to work through. Um, so in order to come here, just to step foot on this planet, to get the golden ticket to get here, you had to be a master manifester. Not just anybody can come here because of the situation, of the, of the conditions. Pat yourself on the back. Yeah! <laughs> exactly. See, that's, we are great and powerful beings. We just forgot. We don't remember. We're huge. When we come here, any gamers in the room? Like I was saying, it's by design. Yeah, I'm not a gamer. Yeah, he's a, yeah, you design games. <laughs> you will understand. <laughs> that's Walter back there. Um, when, okay, gamers, if you, you keep, you play more and more games and you win those, then what do you want to do? You know, you want to have more challenging games, right? You want to keep, okay, I want to get a harder one. I want a harder one. I want hard. You're challenging yourself. I want to be a master gamer. I mean, that's what a master gamer does. They keep challenging themselves. I want harder things. I want, you know, this isn't fun if it's easy. I want something harder. I want something challenging. So what do you think a master manifester might do? Maybe design a place that is really dense, has heavy, heavy energy. What? <laughs> quicksand to move around in, <laughs> that everybody has, they can do whatever they want, free will. You don't know the rules. What's the, the first thing I do, I'm not a gamer, the, big, the biggest game I do is solitaire, and I do crossword puzzles, you know, I'm, <laughs> and, um, but the first thing, if I do play a game, I want to know the rules. Then I know my parameters, I know all my stuff, and I know what I can do, and blah, blah, blah. I'm a big rule person. Well, this one, you don't know the rules. Not allowed to know, or there aren't any. Probably there aren't any. <laughs> so, and then, okay, what's my third one? Okay, yeah. Then you come in, the veil comes down, you forget who you are. You forget what you're doing here. You forget everything. Now that's a game. That's a game where it's really stacked against you. And then you say, okay, figure your way back. You find your way back. You'll have guidance, but you've got to figure out how to tap into it. You've got to figure out what to do. Go for it. Have fun. <laughs> and we all come in here, and we all have our plans and our games and our things, and we're bumping around and <laughs> plodding along. But now, you know, we've, and this has it's been going great. We're learning things. It's all for the experience. Everything we do here is for the experience, but it's, it's challenging. We love challenges. We were probably bored out there. That's what you do. You keep wanting more and more and more and more, right? That's what we do. That's natural. Nothing wrong with that, but we want the experience, so we want it challenging experiences. Well, now we're starting to remember and that's what this time is about. It's who you are. We have abilities. What they've shown me is, oh, okay, thank you. they're coming in. <laughs> it's like, uh, what they've shown me is we, you know, what you're seeing now, and it's like, wow, this is really cool. And that's the new word for the day, okay? When something happens, it's 
cool. What else? Okay? Do not be afraid of this. These things are happening to you, I guarantee you. Those that were claiming their abilities, those that you, of you that did not raise your hand, I guarantee you stuff is happening. Guarantee you. Because that's where we are now. You're just, maybe you want it to look like something, a certain thing, and it's like, I'm, you know, okay, it's got to look like this for it to be. What they told me earlier today when I was talking to somebody, and they were like reminding me, this needs to be said in your talk, there are no more rules. Forget all the stuff you ever had before. And I think Deed said that last night too, didn't she? It's forget all that stuff. It's no long, none of that applies anymore. That's all the old stuff. I was on a trip recently, and on the way they just said, be prepared for anything. Anything is possible. Things, you may go, but that doesn't make sense. That's not logical. That's not, it's like, throw all of that out the window. This is the time of miracles. This is why miracles can be, it's anything, anything can happen. We are here, when we came here, it was to create and manipulate with energy. That's how we're manifesting. So that's where we're doing. Um, one of the things when I was drawing this drawing, I just now remembered, those of you, um, when I was saying somebody on the other part of the, of the world and other countries and other universes, do we have any energy workers in here? Remote energy workers? Do you, do you do remote work? How easy is it to tap into somebody in another country? Absolutely. I find it, it's no different than being next to them. In fact, I find it more powerful than when I'm actually with the person. It's like I can tap into them and it's a stronger session. Um, you, and it's just, you just tap into their energy. You just think about them and you're in their energy and you're right there. And that's how there's no such thing as time and distance. You're, it, that's how we're all connected. That's how that works. Okay. Now, if we can do it here, and Guy, I bet you that's how you do it to all these other levels, isn't it? Because all you have to do, if you do it here, you can do it to another planet. You can do it to another universe. You can do it to another level. That's just not coming in. Thank you. <laughs> so. It's all intent. And all you have to do is ask. That's all you have to do. That will be um, the next thing is uh, how we develop this. Um, because this is huge. And it's like... Oh, but I can't. You know, who am I? Who am I to have this? Who are you not to? These are our birthrights. These abilities, we came in with these. Like, and what I was trying to say was, what they showed me is the door has barely been cracked. We think this is really great. You know, oh my gosh, look at all these things we can do. And they said, you ain't seen nothing yet. My gosh, it's, we barely cracked that door open. It's barely cracking any light through. And look what we think of it. Look what's happening. Wait till this thing is open. Oh my goodness, I, I, I have no idea. I'm ready for it, but I can't, I can't even imagine. But, but the biggest thing is don't be afraid of it. Please don't be afraid of it. This is no time for fear. We designed this. We asked for this. We are here for this reason. You were chose, chosen and you chose to be here right now. This isn't an accident. This isn't somebody doing something bad, do you? You know, it's not victim time. It's not, oh my gosh, who did this to me? What did I do to deserve this? You chose this. You wanted to be on the front of this roller coaster ride, and that's what it is. This is a roller coaster ride. I mean, it can be as, it can be as up and down as you want it to be. It's your ride. I mean, you make it the way you want to. Um, some of us love that, you know, thing. So, but we wanted to be right here. There are many beings that choose to be on the other side and watch it. And they're helping from the other side. We were the ones that were chosen, golden ticket time, to be here. That's something to be excited about. You know, so all these things are happening. Yeah, they can be scary, but it's nothing to be feared. This is what we've been looking for. This is what, it just, those are just indicators of, of it's coming. It's happening. Yes, it's coming. And when you go to fear mode, it makes it go to that other place where it's hard and it's a struggle and everything. Just every time, if you, if you start to do this, 
I mean, first notice what you're doing. Okay, it's this. And sometimes it takes a little bit to notice that you're doing that. And it's like, oh, I'm going into fear mode. But, and just go, okay, it's all fine. I have lots of help with me. Remember, there's many, many, many more on the other side with you than you are here. Because we're all going through this together. And they, um, and what they say, just love. Just send love. Just think love and send your light. And then that smooths everything out. The more we will do that, the smoother it will be for everyone, the more we raise everything for everyone. Um, things are rough because people are being, they have to have those two by fours. There's a lot of two by four whacking going on to wake people up. It doesn't have to happen if we'll just extend a lot of love and help them. Anybody else getting hit by two by fours? Yeah, it's not fun, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> but. And trust me, it was really hard, and it probably took me, oh, goodness, I think I may just now, wow, I may just now be, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> That's been, it's been, you know, I've been transitioning, and I, it was hard. It was hard to, um, to be uprooted like that. But that's what happens when you don't listen. And that was just dumb ego me <laughs> wanting to stand in the way. But it took a lot of years for me to accept that, you know, what happened and that I'm okay with it. Because there's parts that still go back, well, you know, I really had it good back then and stuff. And then I go, well, you know, it's like, well, look what's going on now. <laughs> you know? It's just, it's funny how we do that. This is what I knew. This is what, you know, that was my, my place, my comfort zone. But that's part of it. Let go. Let go of it and just see where it's, you're going. Remember, this is your design. You're the one that did this. Big you. Big you designed this. Okay, as we keep developing, as this veil is thinning, what's happening is more parts of you. And we can get into some deep stuff and say, okay, we have all these facets and splinters and we have the you know, um, simultaneous lives going on, and, and that is what's going on, but, you know, I don't know how, you know, if that, if that doesn't, that's too much for you, it's okay, let it go, it's okay. But what's happening is this veil is thinning, we are opening to more parts of ourself and more parts of our bigger self, okay? So that's just where more of us is coming into ourselves. So more of you is coming into you. You're just getting bigger. <laughs> without the size. <laughs> so, so you're just getting more light, more and more light. And you just keep knowing. Um, but usually what people want to know is, okay, how do I develop these abilities? How do I do this? And it's going to happen naturally, but one of the things you can do to kind of assist it, you know, is just to understand it. And again, not go to fear place. When you go to fear mode, it shuts things down. Just always go to love and just, okay, and sometimes you just have to breathe. Because it's a little scary at first when everything's changing. And sometimes you'll just feel this energies and stuff, and things coming in, and it's, I don't know what that is. That's, remember, that's bigger parts of you just coming in. It's just you. It's just you. You have your guide. You have all them around. And they're probably sitting there reminding you they're with you. So you're probably feeling them as well. You know, it's all love. Everything around you is love. And that's how you came in and what you wanted to do. Okay. All I know is how I developed and what I went through, and I really don't know when it started. Um, Lucy over here <laughs> um, tells me I was responsible for ruining her life uh, <laughs> or opening her up to this. I don't even remember the conversation that she's saying we had. I'm sure we did. We worked together as nurses. <laughs> and, uh, um, we had a conversation that apparently blew her away but opened her up to all of this and completely changed her life. Um, so apparently I was doing things back then. I don't, I, I, know, I, was, I know I was doing it, but I, I don't remember exactly when all of this stuff started. It was so gradual. Energy workers again. The first time you were felt energy or were taught to feel the energy. Boy, is anybody feeling that energy there? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, the first time you were taught to feel it, what did it feel like? Tingly. Yeah, it's a very subtle feeling, isn't it? It was so subtle 
it, it took me a while to really understand it. And then I realized, oh, well, that's, you, then you realize it's always been there. I mean, this isn't anything new. All of a sudden, woo, I have the power, you know? It's always been there. It's just now it's recognizing what it feels like. It's so subtle. Now, once you understand it, once you've felt it, then after that, it's strong. I mean, boom, you know, you just, you know, you're right there with it. But that first time, it's so subtle. Well, that's how this is. The very beginning, it's really subtle. It's like a whisper. And you have to really open yourself and really tap into it to feel it and to hear it. So that's, that's what you're working on at first. Um, the very beginning, it's, probably, it's your gut. Your gut's talking to you all the time. It's those gut, those gut instincts we talk about. That's some of the beginning ways is talking to you and how you're trying to develop this. So many of us go, ah. Oh. We just talk, you know, push it off, and we don't think anything of it, or we have excuses for it, we have explanations for it, whatever. And it's like, okay. The first time that I knew something was happening, I was driving along, and apparently that's a really good time to get your attention because you're in this other mode, you know, of your, your conscious mind is just taken up with something. And I was thinking about something and just trying to understand, okay, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? And all of a sudden... I heard something yell at me from the back seat of the car. There wasn't anything in the back seat of the car. And it was like, it just yelled at me. And I'm like, I mean, I had to turn around. It, I really thought something was back there, somebody. And they, they yelled at my name or they yelled, they gave me the answer or something. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> you know? And so I, then I was like, okay, all right, that, whatever that was. And then, and then it happened a second time a while back. I think that's maybe the first way to get through because I think they're, they're trying so hard to get through that the first time that punches through the veil, it's like a yelling. It's like, because it's trying so hard. And so it comes through that way. The second time I acknowledged it and I was like, okay. And then I acted on whatever it said. I don't remember what it was now, but it was a yelling, you know, and I thought, oh, okay, something's going on here. Um, so that's your first thing. Now, it's whatever way you do it. If, there, if you've heard a yelling, anybody else heard a yelling from the back seat of the car or back seat of something? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> that's, it ha that's what it is. It's them trying to break through, okay? So number one, acknowledge. Okay, what would you like me to know? I, re I acknowledge you. What is it? Yeah. That's your first thing. To developing your abilities, to developing this connection. It's really your connection, it's not necessarily abilities, it's just this connection. The connection is there, we're just getting you to recognize it. It's like, like they're always saying, electricity is always there, you just got to plug into it to make it work. So we're just going to figure out how to plug in, okay, and, and, and recognize it. So um, after that, okay, now you they've punched through, so now um, you could get into a quiet place. You could do things like that where you're just getting quiet and you just uh, quiet your mind and then allow things to start coming in. But so many of us, we don't have the time. I'm one of those. I don't meditate. I, only time I can quiet, get to that point is right before I go to sleep. I'll do that as I'm relaxing myself at night. I'll get into that place. Meditation is just something that's hard. It's difficult for me. I don't. <laughs> I can't sit still that long. And so, um, and actually, they've told me it's not necessary for me. I don't know. I, I'd probably be a wonderful luxury, but it's just getting myself to that place, to that point. Um, but it's fine. I developed anyway. You know, it's okay. The thing is, after that, then I started asking. So there, you're sitting intent. I asked to know this other part of me. I asked to be able to communicate. And I also asked to be conscious of everything and be aware of everything that happens. And I continually do that, and that's a little fun game I do. It's like, can I know if I shift dimensions? Can I know if I, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, anything I ask, I ask if I'd like to be aware when I'm being downloaded. I get woke up at night, and I'm like, now it's just, why am I awake? They said, you wanted to be aware. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs> and so anything you ask, you'll get, <laughs> okay? It's that simple. And it's you. It's you. It's not like, like Dee was saying last night. It's not, this, it's not this God that you have to go beg and plead with and hold, you know, convince, I'm really good and I really deserve this and I really, you know, it's not that. It's you. Who knows what you want better than you? 
And who knows you better than you? That's where, like she's saying, it's the I aming. It's a direct connection. You just go, er, this is what I want. Okay, delivered. Like she, and all the other steps that she talked about, those are the, those parts. Okay, now, still developing this, though. As you keep doing this, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So the first thing is anything that happens, anything. You hear a voice from the back seat of the car, or you hear anything. You ask a question in that quiet place, and you hear anything. The first thing you hear is it. Trust it. That's your first. You've got to trust it. And as you do, it will develop. It will get stronger. So the first thing is acknowledge. And then you're like, okay, I, I, I get you, okay? And then it gives you an answer. Like, okay, you acknowledge that answer. You will get, well, what happened to me, and I've seen other people have said this and have done this too, within one day, I get three confirmations of what I heard. Because I think that's, that's developing your trust of this, okay? And it was like, to show you that this is truth. This is your truth. This is whatever. Because we have that discerning part of us. We want to know that this is really our stuff, our information that's for our highest good. And, you know, we do have our other entrain, entrenched training and everything we have. Oh, it could be evil spirits, and it could be this, it could be you. We have to know what it is and our thing. So when this first started happening with me, I was like, I did this little thing. I said, okay, when it was starting to come in stronger, I was like, how do I know this is you and not me? It could be just me and my wishful thinking giving me the answers. And it was like, and I remember reading that in Sherry's book, and I'm like, I think this is a natural step we go through. It's a, the discerning step. And that's fine, because this is what helps you develop this. And in the beginning, I did. I had them, they said, okay, well, when it's us, and this was just for me, it might be different for you, but when it's us, we'll be over here. Okay? When it's you, be over here. Okay, they just pick spots, okay? So it's when, when it's your thinking and you're talking, it'll be over here. And when it's us, it'll be over here. That way you'll know. Like, okay. Now I know it was always them. and <laughs> just Because remember, it's all you. <laughs> so it integrates. And, in, and whatever I hear now, is, it's always them. So. And we just have conversations now. So. Um, but you, okay, so you're going to get three confirmations. They'll be in the form of somebody walks up to you and just says something. And it might be verbatim what you just heard. You turn on the radio and there's a song that's got a line in it that's confirming what you just heard. The TV, um, or you see a sign, you see something. It's, it, you will get it. Just be aware, stay open, you will get it. Oh, that's what I was just thinking. That was what I heard. That was it. It's just to show you this is real. This is you stepping through this. And um, so that's, that's all it is. It's just strengthening that. And every time you do that, acknowledge, you'll get confirmation. Trust, say okay, thank you, always thank it, anything you get, and then what next? What else do you want me to know? And any time, time, time things are going on, it's what else do you want me to know? Okay? And that's whatever you hear, whatever you get. And every time you do this, it'll be those same steps, it just keeps going with that. Every time you do it, it builds it. You're building a muscle here, it's just like exercising. Okay, the first time you go and work out, you're not very strong, are you? <laughs> Especially when you're using muscles that have not been used very much. You're working new muscles. That's what this is. It's a muscle. You're developing it. You're working it. You're building it. As you keep doing it, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger, and it keeps opening wider and wider. Every time you go through these steps, that door for you opens wider and wider, and it builds stronger and stronger. And you, and you just keep saying, cool, what else? Say, everybody say, cool. <laughs> please, please, yeah. Don't, because sometimes that is, it's scary. It's like, oh my God, what does this mean? Oh my God, no, no. It's like, no, cool. And what that does, cool, opens you up. Cool. What else? What else are you going to show me? What else can I do? What else? That keeps you open. And it also keeps all that beautiful, positive energy flowing. Don't go to fear. Fear shuts you down. It shuts the whole process down. Stay open. You're always protected. You're always safe. There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay? This is wonderful, wonderful time we're in. Huge, huge.
huge things happening. Uh, I'm, I'm just so excited with everything that's happening. And um, with our things, um, what they told me, this is an exciting time for me, and I, and I appreciate being able to do this um, because I'm going through another shifting here, and that's probably why I'm just now realizing and just now embracing. It's probably why I'm just now shifting, <laughs> because I'm just now embracing it. But um, remember, they all go hand in hand. We think, I'm waiting for this to happen, and it's like, well, get excited about it, and it'll happen, like she was saying last night. You know, it's just, go ahead and embrace this part. Embrace it and love it and you will move in the direction that you are being led. You know, it, it's when you're all over here going, well, I, I want to know what it needs to look like, and that was my thing. I know I've got to do some things, but I was trying to define it. And I was trying to, well, what's it supposed to, I, I, what does it look like? Where is it, I'm going, what am I doing? And it was getting me all confused. And the point that I just started being excited about it, and just, I really don't know what it looks like. And they say, yeah, it doesn't. Don't, don't worry about that part. We're, you know, you're always fine. You're taken care of. Just start walking it. And that was my big thing was just you have to trust to take that step. And then take another step. And take another step. And you will find that you will be moving in your new direction. And it's all okay. You're always accompanied. And you're always doing for the best. Um, if anybody, and like I said, I, I'm truly honored to be here and be able to do this. This is the first time to do the full thing. Um, so it was, thank you for letting me do that. And uh, it's been very exciting. Um, I, if we can do a few questions, and then I have a special thing I want to do um, that she knows nothing about. So this is but because I have control of the stage and the microphone right now. I get to do this. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> you know how seldom that happens? <laughs> so, so if anybody has any questions, we could do that very quickly, and then we will, we will do this next part. Any questions? Just, just come to the center if you have any. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> Glad to meet you again, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> and your last name is Dengen, right? Uh, well, that's a shortened version of my, my actual last name is Bazaza Dengen. That's the legal name from marriage, well, from divorce. And, uh, <laughs> so. I, just, I just thought it was interesting because in Bahasa, Indonesia, mm -hmm. the language of Bali, Dengen means uh, to accompany. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Well, it is interesting because I shortened the, the name to that because people on the phone, it's, the other one's horrible. Quite appropriate <laughs> so, in any case. Yeah. But as we uh, are born, yeah. we come in as a soul spirit into a body that basically has virtually no memories and no mm -hmm. information. It's just kind of a, a ch an empty chip to be, you know, uh, right. okay. absorbing information as we go. And this is a, a case also where as we enter into this body, that we are from a place that uh, we consider this a um, an adventure, an experience. Mm -hmm. Experience, yes. Okay. Probably both, adventure experience. From the soul spirit, mm -hmm. and uh, to virtually have no recollection of any past memories. Right. A case of amnesia. Mm -hmm. And during the course of our life, we can, at will, open up to Absolutely. our past memories mm -hmm. and also to uh, where we came from right. and that's where the past life regressions mm -hmm. are very much uh, an assistance. Right. To help to us that. remember. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Just to re-verify. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that's those parts. Like I said, it's opening up and our different parts are coming in. Um, hypnosis, past life regressions, that's a wonderful way to tap into that. Um, as we start opening up more and more, we will start spontaneously remembering it, consciously remembering it. So if you start getting some funny images or funny things, it's like, whoa, that's, that's just weird. Now, where does that fit? It's, this, these, it's these other parts of you. It's these other lives. It's these other things where we have the ability, our mind is getting the ability where it can handle this now. Before it couldn't, but it can handle this stuff now. Where it had, oh, I have all these lives going on. <laughs> I can see them. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, I'm Alex uh, Voltage Paranormal, and uh, 
as you know, uh, we, we deal with a lot of uh, ghosts and spirits, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them. Right. Um, where, where would these entities fit in with uh, what, you know, where, you know, we're all together right. and everything. Right. Where, where would they fit? In? Well, they're all together too. They just don't, they just haven't crossed all the way over yet. They're just still here. They, they really probably don't even know they've died, you know, and they're just kind of stuck just kind in of this plane on. and they just need to be shown the way. Yeah. So if you are in, yeah, if you have one with you, just do, tell do them you to go. Do believe in the, like the light, you yes. know, when you, mm -hmm. when Absolutely. you pass on, yes. you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's, yeah. what if they, do you believe you can miss the light possibly? Or? Well, only in that they're, they're, um, when they don't know, because you go where you, you think you're supposed to go. Okay, mm -hmm. so some of them aren't, aren't aware yet until they're aware that they have died or aware that it's time. Or, you know, they're going to go where they think they're supposed to go. And so mm -hmm. that's where sometimes it's in this middle land and, you know, mm -hmm. they're, just, they're so uh, connected to where they were before, their life they had before, so they stay with that. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of thing, their vibration is just staying there. And then as they, as they prepare and get ready or as they, you know, it's just it's still, they're still experiencing. Now, there. I'm not trying so. to get religious or anything, yeah. but, but mm -hmm. like, you know, demons and stuff like mm -hmm. that, where do they fit, fit in with that's that? Fear. That, that's fear. That's fear. Okay. That's fear right. manifested. Okay. Okay, okay. that's just your, your negative, it's your, your fear thoughts. That's what I thought. Manifested. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate you bringing that up. This was an important thing that we really wanted to... to that's what I was just going to say. That's why we did these fear shirts. If you see these fear shirts we did, um, uh, Darren, it was really cool. He started it. <laughs> so um, one day he was, we were talking on the phone, and he all of a sudden got this message, and it just said, um, and I just went, okay, fear is for entertainment purposes only. And it was like, oh, that's so cool. And it came from a really cool source. But it was like, oh man, we just kept talking. It's like that. That needs to be on a bumper sticker or a T-shirt or something. And so, and then we kept going on. It's like, well, and then I said something to somebody else, and they said, yeah, fear does not live here. And I'm like, oh, I like that one. And then Mom said, fear is an illusion. I was like, oh, so we. That's why we were designing this line of fear shirts. <laughs> and so, help you remember what fear really is. It's, yeah, it's an illusion. It's it's only on this plane. It's just here. It's third dimensional. And it will, that's what holds you. It's one of the things that holds you here. So that's why we've got to let it go. Put it in its place, realize it, laugh at it. Because when you, when you shine the light on it, it exposes it for what it really is. And it won't, it can't stay. Because you now know what it is. Okay, Lucy. <laughs> this is an old, old friend of mine. <laughs> old, old friend. Old, old. Julia and I worked together about 22, 23 years ago. Something like that, before my youngest son was born. And in that period of time, what she didn't mention to you, I also came from a very, very conventional background. And you find people that come along when you're ready, okay? You had no idea the amount of love you brought into my life, the amount of caring, but you opened. But it was the energy. And what I want to tell you, it's not about what you do, it's about the people. Because when I met you again about four years ago, it was like no time had evaporated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Part of your development has been my development. We are one, just yeah. like the consciousness said. Right. What you do is part of what I do. Okay? Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is think about you, mm -hmm. and I'm connected. Right. Absolutely. And what you learn, I get. That's beautiful. Yes. And what I learn, you get, and yes. what you, you know, yes. we're all Absolutely. one together. That's right. And that's why I said we don't have to do this alone, and you right. open up when you're ready. Right. Absolutely. You know, and that's the key. When you're ready, you don't have to push it. I craved this because I did not want to be the same anymore. Yeah. I craved it. And then as I craved it, people came along and just nourished my life. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's what it's about, right. is being there and being open to just receive. I think you're awesome, thank you. and thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you, thank you for being part of my life. <laughs> what you just said about 
um, laughing at it yes, yes. <laughs> struck me uh, so it was as so important to get the message out. I think that the message is now in popular culture even. If you look at the Harry Potter series, Ridiculoso, I don't know if any of you watched that, but it's the same concept. And I think we just don't laugh enough. Right. And right. that's it such so a... It's serious. We bog down and we think this is real. Yeah. It's not real. And especially, <laughs> I found myself um, trying to laugh at horrible times and people are looking at me and I'm like, yeah. I got to. You right. don't understand. It's like right. letting it go. It's a right. release mechanism. Well, you created that event or that situation to learn something from, to show yourself something from, whatever. It's an experience to learn or to show yourself. So then it's like, okay, so step out of it. Okay, what is it you're trying to show me? And that helps you pull from it and get an objective view. Then you're not emotionally attached to it anymore. That's how you can laugh at it because it's like, oh my God, you, you know, then you just see what you just created here. It's like, oh, like she was saying with the Play-Doh, let's crunch it back up and create something else. <laughs> you know, so but yeah, you've got to pull out of it and look at it for what it is. Someone once told me, laughter means you get the joke. And I said, sometimes I laugh and I, I don't get the joke, right. but I'm right. laughing because everyone else is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anyway, it's good stuff. Thank you. And that's one of the things they're always saying is bring joy. Bring joy back into your life. We've got to laugh. We, we don't laugh enough. We, we're so, that's that muck and mire. We're just, we take it so seriously and we're just in this, you know, but it's not. It's just laugh, 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 laugh. We're on the roller coaster ride. Remember, I don't like roller coasters, but I know a lot of people just, ah, I scream when I'm on one, so that's a good release, but they'll do their hands. I have to hold on for dear life, but, um, but do something, you know, just let the wind blow through your hair. Have fun, dance, have fun. Okay. <laughs> All right, are we ready back there? Okay. This year was a huge milestone in Dolores' life. She had a major event. She turned 80. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we, um, she thinks we already celebrated her birthday, but we didn't. We wanted to celebrate it here with all of her dearest friends. <laughs> and so um, this is, uh, we, we did a little thing. Actually, we were traveling on her birthday, and so I just quickly, I was on the computer, and I was like, oh, happy birthday, you know, and it's like, <laughs> Well, everybody forget about me. And then um, on, uh, we, we planned something on Easter weekend. Her birthday was actually in April. And uh, on Easter weekend, we, we did a little something with the family. So she thinks that was her birthday celebration. But we knew that we were going to do this. And so uh, if everybody would join us, we thought we would have the other child here. He hasn't shown yet. Tommy, are you here? Little brother? <laughs> okay. Um, it would, yeah, we, we couldn't, yeah, with the fire laws. Um, but this, this, <laughs> this is, a <laughs> but if you haven't met, met all of us yet, we are the three canon daughters, and we have a brother. We thought he would be here in time, but I guess he's not yet, but the, we are three of the four children here. This is Gloria. And it's me and then Nancy. So we are three of them. So if everybody wants to join us, and happy birthday. And then afterwards, we'll take it next door, and everybody gets to share in the cake. We have another one of these. We should have plenty. <laughs> so, okay. Right, right, right. Okay. So if everybody... Three. Okay. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. So again, thank you so much. And, and I feel like I've grown up with all of you. So um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
always try to keep my age a secret. <laughs> Yes. Just a second. They want to hear you. Oh, I can't get it out of there. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. What your passion is, you find what you're supposed to be doing in life. You don't grow old. You don't get sick because I don't have any aches, pains, or anything, and I'm traveling all over the world constantly. So you find what you're supposed to be doing, and you just keep going and going and going and going, and that's the way it's, she calls me the little ever-ready bunny. <laughs> Energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the battery. My kids have taken turns traveling with me, and I've worn them out to where <laughs> they can't keep up with me. So then another one comes in and takes turns traveling with me, but this is the way it is if you find what you want, what to do and what you desire. And so I don't think of age. I said age is a number. But I still don't like to tell anybody. <laughs> the secret's out now. Okay, but oh, this was a surprise. You did trick me. Okay. All right, but thanks, everybody. Thank